I am Chosen Architect. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and right now I'm just doing a little bit of mining. Um, I have been gone for a few months, and um, I'm bringing, bringing, bringing this back. Uh, we were uh, moving, that's why I was gone for so long. Um, hey look, I just hit some diamond. Um, but yeah, we were, we were in the process of moving. So I wasn't able to record anything. I should have put out an update video, but we just didn't have really any time to do that. Um, but now that we're ooh, there's some diamond. But now that we're back and we're we're all good, um, there'll be some update, uh, some videos posted pretty much uh, every week at least, hopefully. Um, just just keep keep these videos rolling uh, I'm gonna continue the series there's probably gonna be a few more videos uh, up uploaded that aren't necessarily minecraft related um, of course I've been playing a lot of destiny uh, with that new expansion that just came out um, and the past DLCs I have been loving that game up a lot that game is so good um, not necessarily enjoying the uh, new Dinklebot uh, that's in there, but uh, not enjoying him too much. But you know, oh well. Kind of turns me off when like like the like his voice just kind of brings me out of the game. Not a uh, not something I currently enjoy. But uh, everything else, uh, I I haven't really done much. Uh, in this, you know, in, in Minecraft, in uh, our little world we've been uh, building in and working in, uh, I've not really done that much. Um, I mean, I gave I gave myself some armor. That's about it. I made some uh, some iron armor, but uh, other than that, I haven't really done much. Uh, I've dug this mine out so I could scavenge some more uh, resources. Like we can always use some more of this. But yeah, not really done much. Um, of course, like I said, I've been, we've been really busy getting the house set up and everything. Getting things back in order, just like they should. All right. Let me get rid of all this. These I can put out somewhere. Just pop all this stuff in there. This should be good. Got all my levels. 26. I can probably set this up right here. Yeah, put one there too. Don't matter. Just a little bit of experience. Those will eventually turn into uh, like a big XP generator. Eventually. Alright. Got 73 diamond. All right. So there's a few things I wanted to work on, and that was in Kenya. So we've got the basics down. I'm pretty sure we got our runic altar setting out. Um, but for the runic altar, which we already have, okay, I need to have. What was it? Another. Let's see if I can find it. It'll be under mana, mana manipulation. It's a mana spreader. That's what we need. So we need a mana spreader. That's what I had done wrong. So we need some gold and some living wood. That is exactly what we need. Okay, I think I have some living wood. Let me see if I can get some. I'm gonna need some stone. I think I had some stone down here. Nope, I had baked potatoes down there. All right, I'm gonna get some stone cooking down there. Always need that good stone. Right, and um, let me turn that off. 
eventually I'm going to have that automated. It's really easy to automate. Um, I just haven't had time to get around to automating it. Um, and I think everything else is up, up above me. Alright, and it's dark. Still having problems with mob spawning. I'll have to fix that eventually. Okay, so I'll just break that. And we have quite a bit of mana in here. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'm just going to take the... I'm actually going to make a mana spreader. Let me get a petal. Let's see. We need one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll just craft it. Another mana spreader. Take the mana spreader right here. Make that think, think that's right. Yep. And then put our runic altar right here. And that's going into there. You can tell by the line going straight into it. Let's see. Function mode, bind mode. We can bind this to this just to make sure. See how it turns a little bit. All right, and um, that's how we would change that. But really, we need that going there. That's going to pull from there, anyways. Okay, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay, now there's a few things that we need to look at. All right. In our runic altar, we use them to make these awesome runes. Now, runes are used for a few things. Let's go find. Nope, it won't be under there. It'll be under like, the items. Okay, so like, look. Let's look at the, this item right here. It's going to require this. A rune of uh, mana, which is kind of expensive, uh, kind of, you know, iffy. But there is something I really want. I want an assembly halo, which is actually really easy to make. You see a mana pearl, some mana steel ingots, and a crafting table. So let's see if I have any of the iron over here. I have a mana steel. That's what I need to do is gather some iron. My ring of magnetization. Okay, I got that. Alright, I'm just gonna need an ender pearl. So back down. I need to find a better way of doing this. Um, actually, mm -hmm. let me just take. Take this guy. this anymore. Definitely don't need that. And let's see what this takes me to. Okay. Perfect. Okay. I'll just do that. That'll be a lot easier. Getting to it. Um, take my elevators. I think I can set a waypoint. Let me remove that one. New. Okay, then I'll go up there and I'll pop one down. So that's a little bit closer. There, torch already there.
bit too far. I don't know why I was hitting them with that. Maybe it's because... Should be able to have something there. Like that should be at least allowed there. Don't mind if you hear my dogs are barking at somebody out back. Being themselves. Okay. Let me try this again. There it goes. Okay. So yeah, that works. I don't think it's too many blocks. I can go in and remove. Awesome. Just like that. Alright, so now I have easy access. So I can get my iron. And then ender pearls. Okay, I need to make one, two, one, just like that. And then let's take a look again, and then we need a crafting table, so we need some wood. Perfect, we have just enough wood. Now this thing is pretty useful, it is very, very useful actually. Um, just set it up like that and bam we have an assembly halo now it's really cool whenever I hover over this assembly halo you'll see something happen You're like whoa what is this well as of right now it is a crafting table at all times so no matter where I'm at I always will have a crafting table as long as I have this item on me bam I have a crafting table also this right here Every time I craft something, so if I want to take, which I think you can take dirt and turn it into compressed dirt, and when I do that, I can now save that recipe to one of these slots by, of course, right-clicking it to set, but I don't want to do that, of course. Now it's going to ask me, do I want to turn that into that? Pretty awesome. And... Of course, I don't want to do that right now. There's a, a few more uses that's pretty awesome that this thing does. And you can, of course, save all these recipes. So you can just automatically click one. Say if that's in your inventory and you just want to hurry up and make it, bam, there you go. All right. So that's the assembly halo. That's one of the uh, first things that are pretty easy to make. The next one, I want to do this, the wild horn right here. You're going to need a pasture seed. In the pasture seed, you're going to need to take some grass. So we're going to need some shears. So I went ahead and already got some iron. Grab some shears. And let's go and find some grass, which is like right here. We're going to need a few pasture seeds. So we only need one for that. But I'm going to go ahead and get a, get a little bit of a few pasture seeds. They actually, actually make some cool looking grass too. There's a few uses for them. Okay, so we're going to put the grass into our manifold. Uh, let me do this. Alright. So we should have ourselves some pasture seeds right here. Next thing we're going to need, let's go back, some living wood in this shape. And this thing is pretty awesome. Alright, let's get some living wood. 
but keep that on us. I have to say this is one of the most useful tools um, that you're starting out with to get, and there's another one that is just like this that does uh, something similar that is very useful as well. So if you'll notice, let me go out here. If I hold down my uh, right click, watch what happens. You notice all the grass just disappeared. Look at that. Look at how awesome that is. Does it to your uh, your garden too, which I try to look at all that. Awesome. That is so awesome. This is one of my favorite tools uh, starting out with Batania. You don't actually need the runic altar for it. All you need is a little bit of mana. And I mean literally a little bit of mana because that pasture seed it really takes nothing to make. It takes so little bit. I mean such a tiny amount of mana. Alright. Awesome. We can make these too. But um, if you, yeah, that's that's another thing. Okay, so if we make two of these, which we're gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna go ahead and get this through in this episode. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and make two of those. First of all, I need somewhere to throw these seeds because I do not want them. Okay, so they're over there. And of course that guy I don't want. Alright. Um, so let's go ahead and make another one. Because we're going to need this one. Okay, so now we have two. Alright, and uh, I'm going to need an oak leaf. So use that shear again. Just to get us oak leaf. And in our inventory, we can go ahead and put it with an oak leaf. And then we get a horn of the canopy, which is different. Got a horn of the wild and a horn of the canopy. The horn of the canopy is really awesome and so useful. Okay, save you so much time. <clears throat> okay, so when you're when you've cut down your tree and you're left with just these leaves, and you don't want to sit there and knock them down, say you have a tree farm. And you don't want to knock them down yourself. All you gotta do is hold this down. And look how fast that goes. And it does drop the saplings. How awesome is that? That is so useful. Okay. That is a starter with Batania. That is like a Batania starter pack right here. And then you're good to go. Of course, this ring of mag magnetization that we made earlier, which is very useful. Really useful whenever you're using the horn of the canopy or the uh, horn of the wild because it allows you to pick up all your items that drop down. I can actually use these to eat. But yes, awesome. Um, in the next episode, I think we're going to go over a few more things with Batania. Um, there, of course, is this bow that you can make that is really useful. Um, it's going to require some mana and a few string things like that. Um, mana steel equipment, uh, which we'll gonna, we're going to have to get into eventually because we're going to have to make this wonderful stuff, mana steel armor, which is actually really useful. Um, the thing with the mana steel armor, you can enchant it, but when you enchant it, you have, uh, believe, the chance of getting higher enchants with it and special enchants, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it might say might say what uh what it does. Yeah, let's see. Like let's see. You get uh ten percent less mana cost on your mana tools. Um, if you have all your full set of armor. Um I think it says something about enchanting maybe. Keep in mind that shear is also mean.
Key details to keep in mind that shears made of mana material will trigger tripwire unlike iron ones. Huh. Let's see. The pickaxe will place a torch from the user's inventory. That is very useful, actually, just like the Tinker's does. Let's see. The axe will do the same for the saplings and the shovel. Okay, so the axe will place saplings. And the shovel will till earth like a hoe. That is that is pretty useful. I didn't actually know that. Okay. Doesn't say anything about enchanting, but I'm pretty sure that you get higher enchants. But don't exactly know. But all right. Anyways, um, well, thank you guys for watching another episode. Um, I hope you guys uh, enjoy the series, and I'm, I hope you're glad that I'm coming back and uh, finishing everything up. Um, if you like what I do, you can follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is uh, at Chosen Architect, same as the YouTube. Um, you can find me on Facebook as well at Facebook forward slash Chosen Architect. And if you want, follow me on uh, Twitch. I stream every now and then, uh, every now and again, uh, usually once a week. Um, I make sure to do it sometime on the weekend. Here lately, it's not been Minecraft that I'm streaming. So it's been like uh, Destiny or I'll stream. Uh, uh, I can even stream Call of Duty. It just all depends on what I, I feel like playing at the time. But uh, yeah, I hate how it's been raining the whole time. Um, but anyways... Yeah, you can follow me on there. That my uh, Twitch username is Chosen Architect, and I think that's about it for all my my social media links. Um, but if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and click that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. And I will make sure to release more videos, and you guys will be the first to see them. And uh, all right, well. I, I love you guys, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Later.